Booster cameras have been activated. One minute, thirty seconds. Sound suppression water system has been armed. observed in the immediate vicinity of the flight path. Final check of the SRB commands. SRB joint heaters being turned off. Liquid oxygen, liquid hydrogen fill and drain valves are being closed. Handoff. Handoff to Atlantis has occurred from the ground launch sequencer. 20. Nozzle check of the SRBs. Firing chain is armed. Sound suppression water system armed. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 4, 3, 2, 1. And liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis. Final visit to enhance the vision of Hubble into the deepest grandeur of our universe. Bypass across the board, scooter, no action. Houston now controlling Atlantis on its way. on its way, all three engines now throttling down as the area begins, as the vehicle passes through the area of maximum dynamic pressure. Atlantis, Houston, no action on the MPS H2 out P. Houston, we copy, no action. Atlantis, go at throttle up. Houston, Atlantis copies, go at throttle up. Seven miles in altitude. Altitude 49,000 feet. Flight control team discussing the minor transients that we're seeing at liftoff. All three engines are in good shape. The vehicle is uh, headed downrange. Three hydraulic systems in good shape, as are the fuel cells. Atlantis is 18 miles uh, and altitude downrange 23 miles. Already traveling 2,500 miles per hour, approaching staging the burnout of the twin solid rocket boosters, which have been burning fuel at a rate of about 11,000 pounds per second. Solid rocket boosters have done their job. Atlantis is uh, continuing in its due easterly course to catch up with the Hubble Space Telescope one last time. Altitude 35 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 51 miles. Altitude uh, 195,000 feet. Atlantis is traveling 3,300 miles per hour. Again, all three main engines are in good shape, as are the uh, hydraulic systems, the auxiliary power units, and the fuel cells. No issues uh, heading to orbit. Atlantis, two engine Maroon. Houston, Atlantis copies, two engine Maroon. 
three minutes into the flight, Atlantis. LT2-LT is a deucer only, and the ASA-1 is a power only. Copy, ASA-1 power only, and the H-2 is deucer. Approaching four minutes into the flight. Altitude 310,000 feet, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. Houston, copy, negative return. And for Ray J, you can disregard MPS H2 out P on the left. Copy, uh, box, disregard MP MPS out P on the left. That call. Atlantis, press to ATO. Houston, Atlantis copies. Press to ATO. Those calls indicate that Atlantis can reach orbit on two engines should one fail. Again, all three are in good shape. The calls that you're hearing are related to a bad transducer only. The systems are in good shape. Atlantis is 208 miles away from the Kennedy Space Center. The vehicle can no longer return to the Kennedy Space Center in the event that there is some systems problems. But again, uh, all the systems are in good shape, approaching five minutes into the flight. Atlantis is 65 miles uh, in altitude, traveling uh, almost 6,500 miles per hour now, downrange from the Kennedy Space Center, 246 miles. Again, all systems in good shape. The only uh, issues were a bad transducer, so the crew is told to disregard that. They're getting cues from all of the other Atlantis. systems on board. Houston Atlantis, copy. Pulse to Miko. Five minutes, 20 seconds into the flight, Atlantis can reach a safe orbit on two engines now, but again, all three are in good shape. Atlantis, single engine, ops three. Houston, copy. Single engine, ops three. Atlantis, single engine Banjul 104. Copy, single engine Banjul 104. And that call indicating that uh, Atlantis could reach Banjul in the Gambia, although that is not a transoceanic abort landing site. Atlantis, negative Maroon, select Banjul. Houston, we copy, negative Maroon, selecting Banjul. Vehicle rolling to uh, heads up now to get good communications through the tracking and data relay satellite system. Six minutes, 25 seconds into the flight. Downrange from the launch site, 4,030 miles. Altitude, 353,000 feet, or about 67 miles. Press 109. Houston, we copy. Single engine press 109. Your shutdown plan is nominal. You are go for the plus X and go for the pitch. Houston, we copy nominal shutdown, go plus X, go pitch. A call indicates that Atlantis can reach orbit on one engine should two fail. Again, all three are in good shape, approaching seven minutes into the flight. The plus X is a maneuver that's conducted after the vehicle uh, separates from the external fuel tank. These views uh, from the camera on the uh, feed line on the external fuel tank looking up at Atlantis. We'll lose that view uh, here in about uh, a minute or so. Atlantis, the deucer is going to toggle, no action. Again, re referring to the faulty transducer, no, no action required by the crew. All systems in good shape. The three engines are now beginning to uh, uh, throttle back uh, as it uh, prepares to uh, pass through three times gravity to maintain that on the structural uh, vehicle.
And Atlantis is just about to move out of range of the Merritt Island tracking station ground site. We expect to lose the view from the uh, feed line camera as uh, the vehicle uh, approaches uh, the point of main engine cutoff here in just a few seconds. Main engine cutoff has been confirmed. Atlantis now uh, in orbit, uh, beginning its uh, chase to catch up with the Hubble Space Telescope. Atlantis, Houston, nominal Miko, ohms one is not required. Houston, we say copy, nominal Miko, ohms one not required. <laughs> 